Hi, in the previous video, we have created VPN v4 neighbors and advertised C routes using BGP as CEP protocol. In this video, we will steer the traffic or SRT policy by, by advertising color as extended community attribute in BGP. Before proceeding to the configurations, let us do a trace route from C1 to C2 as well as C2 to C1 just to check we have still our traffic intact. So I have started trace route from C1 to C2. Uh, similarly, I will go and trace route from C2 to C1. So remember 2.2.2.1 is the loopback IP that I have configured on C1. Similarly, 2.2.2.2 is an loopback IP that we have configured on C2. So you can see still the traffic is going uh, is using the MPLS labels. 16008 is a prefix set of uh, PE2 whose loopback IP is 1.1.1.8. So we can see here on C2 to reach 2.2.2.1 uh, which is loopback IP of C1. It is using uh, 16001 in the label stack. 16001 is a loopback IP of P, sorry, CE1, uh, which we have advertised from C1 to C2 via BGP. Okay, so what we'll do here, uh, we'll go to P1 and then uh, we will do the configurations of extended community attribute color. Remember, we use uh, color as one of our uh, attribute in segment routing traffic engineering policy while we are configuring it. So that particular uh, attribute we will advertise in the BGP and then we will steer the traffic of uh, VPN v4 uh, routes via SRT policy. Okay, so let us uh, configure extended community attribute. So to configure, we have to give extended community set and we have to give opac and any name. I will just give name as red. I will give 1001 as the value. Then we'll come out of it and I will configure another value. We'll give the name as blue and I will configure it as 1002. So now I will come out and I will commit this configurations. So now I will configure route policy. I will give the policy name as VPN v4. Then we'll use uh, if destination in 2.2.2.1 uh, slash 32. Then we'll give extended community I have to use set extended community uh, and we are setting it for color I'll give it as red so I will give else if else if uh, destination in 2.2.2.3 slash 32 then I will set extended community attribute to blue. Then I will give else, we will pass all the traffic. And this is the end of our policy. So I will commit this configurations. Okay, uh, so what I will do here is I will now uh, go to router BGP. Uh, and remember we have given neighbor group that is RR under that address family we have configured VPN v4 unicast I will configure route policy VPN v4 out in the out direction we are configuring this policy I will commit this configuration okay so I will end this configuration then what I will do is I will check uh, show segment routing traffic engineering policy show running config segment routing 
you can see here there is no policy configured so now i will go to config terminal i will config segment routing and traffic engineering i will create a policy to underscore p2 underscore lsp1 so remember uh, we have to give a color i will give a color uh, 1110 and we have to give an endpoint that is ip for address of 1.1.1.8 so i will give preference uh, sorry candidate path with a preference of 100 and this is of type dynamic right so then uh, what i will uh, do here i will give a metric type as IGP so I will commit this configurations so uh, I have just created a segment routing traffic engineering policy uh, with a color of 1110 so I have not advertised 1110 anywhere uh, this is uh, just I have created a policy uh, just to show you uh, that this policy will not be since it has not been advertised it will not be used uh, in any of the uh, traffic sorry steering of the tra steering of the traffic so I will go to P2 uh, and here what I will do here is uh, I will create a traffic engineering policy I will go to segment routing traffic engineering I will create a policy uh, to underscore P1 underscore LSP1 that is the name that I am giving I will give a color of 1001 and uh, endpoint as ipv4 uh, address that is 1.1.1.1 that is p1 slow back ip and i will give candidate paths with a uh, preference as 100 and i'm configuring it as dynamic so before proceeding to configurations just to tell you this is this is our topology now uh, what i have done here is uh, on this particular link, I ha we have a high latency. This is a high latency link. So what I'm going to do here uh, on this, on the policy which is created on P2, I will give a metric type as latency. That means uh, this particular path it will never use. Okay. And the path uh, it re used to reach from P2 to uh, P1 is this particular path. Okay. So, uh, let us go uh, and configure metric type as uh, latency so i will commit these configurations uh, once i will commit these configurations uh, i will just show show bgp vpn uh, v4 unicast okay so remember uh, if in the previous video if you have checked uh, show bgp vpn v4 unicast you might not have uh, seen this color so there is something called c1001 that is color so what it means that uh, to reach this particular 2.2.2.1 uh, route uh, p2 uses uh, color 1001 that means it uses uh, this particular policy that is 2 underscore p1 underscore lsp1 so to show you uh, how it looks like without color i will just go here and you show bgp vpn v4 unicast you can see here uh, we in the output we don't have any color attribute attached to any of the routes right so now you uh, show segment routing traffic engineering policy in segment routing traffic engineering policy you can see here to reach 1.1.1.1 uh, uh, it is first going to 16002 uh, that is 1.1.1.2 and then it is reaching 16001 so uh, 16002 is uh, pr1's prefix sit so what it is it is doing is first it is uh, reaching pr1 uh, and then uh, it is reaching p2 sorry p1 if you would have used uh, 16001 itself uh, remember there are two paths to reach 16001 one is via this path 
right and one is via the upper path so the reason is this all is these are all ecmp paths so if i will go to c2 now and do a trace route to c1 loopback ip what you can see uh, on the trace route is you have 16002 as well in your uh, label stack so let us go to uh, c2 remember on c2 we had we did a trace route and in the starting of this video you can see here on the label there is no 16002 on the label stack there is no 16002 so let us try to do a trace route again so if you do a trace route now you should uh, see a you should you should see label 16002 in the label stack that is because it is uh, steering the traffic on the policy that we have configured. See, you can uh, see the upper label, that is topmost label is 16,002. Uh, the next label is 16,001, right? And then the bottom label is 24,004, which is an um, L3 VPN label. Right, you can see here uh, it has used an um, SRT policy path. So let us go uh, and do a trace route on C1 to C2 again, just to check there is a no change in the path uh, and it is not using any uh, traffic engineering policy. Uh, it remains the same. So uh, we will wait for uh, trace route to complete. Uh, you can see here, still it is uh, using the same path and we can see there is no uh, change in the label stack, right? So it is six, still 16,008 and the bottom label is 24,007, which is an L3 VPN label. So with this, uh, the trace route ends. So also this is the end of the video. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.